Well, good morning, stamping friends. How are you all doing? I cannot tell a lie. It is not actually Friday morning, but it's Thursday night and I'm taping this. And there's a reason for it because I am celebrating my daughter's birthday or a little bit early. So we are going tomorrow morning. And so I had to do this beforehand. And my project that I'm gonna share with you is the birthday card that I made her. So I'm hoping that she isn't subscribed to this, otherwise she's gonna see what her birthday card is. <laughs> so um, I also wanted to ask, does anybody notice anything different here? I had a little blog makeover and I have a new graphic here. How do you like it? Um, it's kind of shrunk down so I have more table space here, but um, it's a little coffee ring with some splats on it and coffee beans. And I just think that really depicts me. So I am a coffee lover and sweets and chocolate, but it was hard to get all that in. So I said, let's just go with the coffee theme. So you'll have to check out my blog and see what you think and my Facebook page too. So thank you to Nicole and Brian at Integrant Services and um, they are miracle workers. So that was fun. All right, let's get started with today's project. How many of you like wearing tennis shoes around? Well, this kind of, you know me and themes, I like to make everything coordinate. So this is my daughter's birthday card. Isn't that cute? And um, this is kind of a remake of one I did years ago and I didn't do a video on it because videos weren't really in. And so I remade this using current Stampin' Up! product. And um, I'll show you a couple other versions of it. Here's my old one that I did with the red and blue, that kind of the classic look. And I even made gray ones. I actually had to Google Converse shoes to see what color the star was. So gray and black are together. So really you can make these shoes any color you want. Um, I did, well, oh, I hope she's not watching this. I was gonna tell you what I gave her for her, or I'm giving her for her birthday, but the card probably tells you. All right, so let's get started. How do we make this little tennis shoe card? You just take a eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock, and we are gonna score that right down the middle at four and a quarter on the long side, and then just fold that. And as you might guess, the next layer is five and a quarter by four. Now, um, oh, my husband just came home. I can hear him in the background. To get these little stitching lines, all you do is take this little die from Happy, that's new in the catalog, and we're just gonna set it here, and I'm gonna measure while we're going so that you know about where that line is. Let me grab my ruler. Go over about two and three eighths to the left and put this one down like that, and then you just wanna run it parallel. I guess this one goes about three and an eighth there, but it doesn't have to be exact, just so they um, go parallel when you put it at that angle, all right? Okay, that's a fun little die there. Then we are gonna take a strip of white paper. This is three-fourths of an inch by five and a quarter, and I'm just gonna stick some glue. Uh, let's not do that first. Let's put the, yeah, we can put it on. Make sure I do it in the right order. You can just stick this right along the bottom. And that's gonna be the sole of the shoe. Then I took five and a quarter by one eighth inch, and I'm barely gonna put glue on here, just a few dots. You don't have to do solid, otherwise sometimes it squishes out all over and it makes a mess. You, so you just, Need a few dots and kind of aim it towards the top and I made it long on purpose because I hate when I cut it a tiny bit too short and I'm kind of anal about that and then just snip off that end. All right now I got some kind of gummy stuff on here so that one eraser that we have takes off stuff like that. It's in the catalog. All right now there's two little um, pieces that are going to be just probably like little eyelet holes or um, I don't know air holes what do you call these on tennis shoes that have little kind of like shoelace holes little breathing holes and just put two of those down there all right now to make the lace part this is really simple all you're going to do is take 
piece of scrap paper and a half inch circle punch. And we want three of these. So we're just gonna start gluing them and just, you can totally eyeball this. Maybe go about an inch up and do the first one. Kind of wiggle it around so it catches all the glue. And do the second one. And the nice thing about this mono adhesive glue is that it is movable. So if you need to kind of center it and readjust it, you can do that. And then the last one about here. And like I said, move it around so it grabs glue in all the spots and just make sure they're about lined up pretty straight. All right, we're gonna let that dry before we poke holes in there. And let's work on the little logo part. So all I did was took a circle from the stitch circle set. And this one is the middle size, which is not quite two inches. And then we're gonna grab um, Magenta Madness ink, which I forgot to tell you, our card is our new in color, Magenta Madness. Isn't that a pretty color? I think I had to replace this pack first because I went through it first. Then um, the stamp set that I'm using is called Itty Bitty Birthdays. This is a must have, oh my goodness. Are you, if you're like me, birthday cards are probably the most um, birth, or cards that you make and give. So this just, they're all related to birthday. So I chose the cheers to you because I thought, well, that kind of goes along with tennis shoes and cheering people on. And um, so let's just put this towards the top. And then we're going to put the star on. No, I'm not real picky about stars. I have punches. I have dies. I have... I can't even remember what set this came from, but this star is about, well, you can tell what fits on there, but from top to bottom, it's about one inch. So whatever you have in your stash, there's a lot of dies that do have stars in them already. So just look through and see what you have. All right, now we're just gonna add a few dimensionals on the back. And um, when I do circles, I usually add three just to balance it off. Let's see, then we're ready to put this on the front and then we'll just do those laces up. And this looks a pretty fast and easy card. That's my kind of card. All right, now, like I said, we're gonna put the laces in here. So um, you wanna get a, a white, thread. well, you really could make laces any color you wanted, but I'm using our white crinkle ribbon and this if it's not the right color you can use your blends and color it any color so seriously any um any color laces will work with this and oh i know i need to make a little dot i make a little dot in the middle because sometimes when you're punching you can't really see where the middle is because of the angle you're at so i just put a little dot and then the dot is easier to line up when i'm making this and luckily my um, punch reaches because it has you know a lot of space in there so I was able to do all three of these just using my punch this is a 1 8 inch punch by the way now sometimes it's tricky um, getting this in when I first started doing this I kept cutting this at an angle so you can make a like a little needle to um, put it through. But then I discovered, well, why aren't I using my little pick tool right here, which was made for things like this. Look at how easy you just poke that in. So poke it in and cut it a little bit longer. Do it again. Seriously, this goes a lot faster because I've made a lot of these cards doing it the other way and it just took forever. Poke it in and then cut a little bit longer. And last time, Poke it in and a little bit longer. All right, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna run adhesive. Um, just use your snail or whatever you have. And this is just to catch that backside. And because this is thin and moves easy, it just catches with that. You don't even have to put tape on top of that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side pull it straight. I hold it upright because sometimes you think it's straight until you look at it and um, just line them all up parallel to each other. All right. Make sure that's secure on the back. Now the last thing we're going to do is stick 
dimensionals because we want to give this layer a pop. So when I, I think if you've watched any, any of my other videos, I like to do all the corners and then I put one in the middle as well, just so that that middle side doesn't kind of sink down into the card. <sighs> that takes a little bit longer to take all these little things off. Um, so I already know who I'm going to give the red and blue one to. I have a little grandson who is Mr. Sports Addict, so he's getting that one in October. I haven't decided on the gray one yet. My husband has not seen this yet, so I might be able to sneak that to him. Usually he sees what I'm working on, and then I don't like to give it if he's already seen it. All right, then we're just going to center this on. And wasn't that fast and easy? Isn't that a fun card? It's a, kind of the feminine version of a, a boy sports card. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a very simple card, I know, but it's fun and something different. So I hope you enjoyed it. If um, you are interested in any Stampin' Up! products, here's my host code. I would really appreciate it if you use that. And also, don't forget, my Cozy Craft Retreat deadline is coming up pretty soon. So if you're interested in that, make sure and sign up, and you can find the link on my blog. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day and a nice weekend coming up. Bye-bye.